Aquarius. Um, I know. Like, that's the last thing you want to hear. No, no, no. This is actually quite extraordinary. <sighs> you know something. You've discovered something. And this realization has liberated you. Um, liberated you from the chains of the average and the ordinary, from the stereotypical as well as the status quo. What does that mean? Because that's just a bunch of sort of philosophical mumbo jumbo. Um, you've realized that you don't want to work for somebody anymore. You've realized that the people around you are a bunch of bullshit and they don't really matter and getting them out of your life wouldn't be that big of a deal. You've recognized or moved to a higher plane of existence. So would you, listen, stereotypically, that's where all Aquarians always think they are all the time. But no, this would translate into something that has really liberated you from the, conf the confines of having to keep up a certain image or look. Um, this sort of persona, if you will, of going along with and sort of being somebody's little puppet, puppeteer. Um, I, I feel that in a lot of ways, you just don't care about it anymore. Um, what it is that liberated you is thought. It's realization, it's recognition. It's also maybe a divine inspiration of sorts that you feel is, is your big thing. You know, it's, it's sort of like your big breakthrough. It's what's going to help you move forward in your life. Um, but there was definitely almost a sense of um, awakening about you. That's a good word, awakening. But the truth is this, it's not just awakening because there was, there are tools, tools that you have now that you didn't have before. And now tools can be resources, right? Now, I don't know if it was just serendipity or one came before the other, but there is sort of this liberation of, or of sorts, a sense of speaking talking there's a lot of throat chakra here right there's a lot of there's a lot of um opening up of this not just like the mouth because it's almost like this is is like connected to the crown chakra there's a lot of sharing of your ideas or and feeling that in some ways you you'll finally be listened to um i think you bided your time this isn't necessarily open rebellion it's a long-term shift. A lot is shifting into Aquarius. And I feel like even though the age of Aquarius has begun, there's a sense of maybe the mentality hasn't permeated people a lot. This year, it's sort of been bastardized. Uh, when Capricorn slipped into Aquarius for a little while, it was a mess. It was basically the pandemic. It was, um, it was give yourself over to the authority for everybody else's sake. And that is definitely not your message. But it was twisted and it was convoluted. And I think there's commentary now from you. It's almost like feedback or a response of, no, 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 this is how it's actually supposed to be. You know, when you're an open-minded person and when you're, when you are a free thinker and when you don't have chains, there is that sense of wanting it for everybody, but not wanting to be chained to everybody. Um, and you recognize, you recognize that basically your mentality was a little, was convoluted and twisted and that in some ways you were made to be the fall guy if you will, the universal fall guy. Well, we're doing it for the betterment of everybody. No, you're doing it to cover your fuck ups. You're doing it to purge all this crap and you still don't wanna be really held accountable for it. So you're kind of like using all this, but we wanna help everybody as a bullshit. You know, as a bullshit kind of like mask of sorts, because let's face it, 
Neptune is in retrograde too. The veil is down. It's not so easy to pull the wool over people's eyes when that universal veil is down. So you have to have a scapegoat. You got to throw somebody under the bus. And I think for the first time in a long time, Aquarius, you are speaking up and speaking out for yourself um, in the ways of showing people how it is really done, of in the ways of, of this is what I really mean and this is what I really want and this is how things really go down. There is a sort of self-defense about this, but it's, it's bigger than self-defense in that it's directly attached to um, ending tyranny, you know, ending um, a lack of truth. Um, There was a lot that almost felt like your hands were tied. You had a lot of responsibilities. You probably were the pillar of some sort, like a holding up pillar. You know, you were biding your time. Um, it, a lot of the weight was on your shoulders, so you could have been the head of the head of your family, right? Had to keep this job where you knew people were throwing you under the bus, but simultaneously, you also had to continue to pay the bills, right? We we have real world dependencies and that's just the truth but all the while you were biding your time and in a way you were always had this confrontational energy of they knew you were just biding your time um but now you have the tools and the ability to go about using it you know it's like now you can actually and this is very mercurial energy which speaks where's mercury mercury's going into libra right now balancing things out seeing both sides so in other words you're experiencing this dynamic especially and on the 12th, when Jupiter goes direct in Capricorn, at least he's direct and he's really inching ever closer to um, going into Aquarius for the next year. So there, there is this amazing sense of, okay, but did you really do it for that reason? You didn't really do it for that reason. And now people are willing to listen. It's almost like they want to know the other side of things. Mercury's position gives you the perfect, uh, the perfect opportunity to speak your mind and let and actually have people listening in other words you waited you waited for your audience which was being stolen from you or being um or sort of mis uh, redirected from you um oh this is obedience ironically is disobedience because you see he's sneaking in undermining gonna rebel um seek, sneaking in the wolf you know oh pretending to go along with it pretending to be okay with it hiding the fact that you're going to fight back, you know, and this is also kowtowing to authority. You know, you can see those spiky cones in the back. You are the bringer of the rebellion. That's what you are. You're going to be able to finally speak your mind. You've had a long time to do it. You've taken the time to make sure it's almost like you questioned yourself for a little while. Maybe all of these things that were happening all of a sudden made you doubt who you are. Um, and that's OK. It's OK because um, that kind of introspection, you know, uh, takes your takes your ego out of the way and it makes you really say, what if I am the bad guy? What if I really did these things wrong? And it made you really kind of look at yourself and be very hard on yourself. Um, and then finally say, nope, nope, this is what's really going on. And I'm tired of just shutting up and letting it happen. And this is you butterflies often represent, at least for me, Aquarian energy, because it's about newness. It's about freshness. It's about renewal. It's about transformation. And this is about wings to fly. You have a lot of wings here. And of course, wings refer to Mercury wings messenger delivering messages uh, maybe even you got tipped off by somebody there was a message delivered to you now you understand now you know the truth but ultimately this is all blue all blue light if you've seen yourself surrounded by blue light now you know why this blue light is 100 percent your throat chakra opening up because you're so prepared to speak beyond the mind so now it's gone. Yeah, it's, it's open. You've opened up your mind so much. You, you see, understand differently. You're so ready to share this different perspective. But, it, you know, this kind of energy, it's not easy to translate into words. But now you have the words and now you have the audience to listen. You've finally been able to put it together. You had to take some time because this emotionally impacted you, even though, you know, you don't like to admit that. But bullshit because it emotionally impacted you. It did. 
Um, yeah, it emotionally impacted you. And ultimately, um, you had to get through that, this disappointment and this hurt to get back to your own sense of calm and understanding so that you, because you didn't want to address it by exploding. You didn't want to lose your cool or lose your calm. And that's why this blue is such a permeating color right now in this pre-reading of sorts, because it's, it's cool. It's you being cool. It's you remaining objective so that they don't get the best of you um yeah in, this is divine inspiration and something really being stolen almost by the hierarchy yeah almost by oh my god uh almost by the hierarchy um your your hard work all of your ideas being taken and trashed In some ways, you were made to look like the problem. You were made to look like the hierarchy. In a lot of ways, I remember it was sort of blamed on you. This, this social, the social injustice, social injustice, social justice warriors, all, all of this, all of this, all of this. It, and that's not the fucking case. You, you bring about a world where everybody has a right to speak where there's the opportunity is equal, not necessarily the ground is equal because, you know, earthquakes happen, mountains happen, hills happen, valleys happen, ruts happen, ditches happen. Um, you are definitely striking out. You're ready to. All of your hard work and you are just literally cutting down the authority. And that's what you've been doing. Building up your arsenal. Finding a very creative way to take out the boring status quo. Let's get into your main reading. Because all of that is really way up in the air. But I think you've been you've been you've been really taking a you've been really taking a pounding, you know, so, like things have been real brutal for you for a while. And now you think I think finally people are willing to listen. Hold on. You're putting the past behind you. Because see, this came out actually behind my chair. And this is the energy of don't be gentle, be very harsh, be very cruel, be very mean. This is definitely like shooting the little deer because you know it's big and doe-eyed and it's it's uh, vulnerable. And I think your vulnerability is that you, you know, um, won't defend yourself or didn't defend yourself. Somehow they Somehow it was clear that you wouldn't defend yourself or that you like to take your time before you do. Because you don't want to be reactionary. Oh, you're going to lay it all on the fucking table. There's a lot of shit now. It's almost like I got to feel sorry for people. But but you, no, not in your presence. I will not feel sorry for people. Because they were fucking wicked to you. Whoever this energy is, whoever was doing it, whoever was creating this momentum about you... You have lost all sense of responsibility to their humanity. And I think that that's what may, took you the longest. If, if somebody doesn't act human, you don't have any obligation to treat them like one. Now, I don't know if that means you're going to go ape shit wild, but you have been basically planning your attack for a while now. And with Mars going retrograde in Aries... All the bullies, all the people who are about themselves, all the people who are driven just by, can I do it? Yes, I can. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to like rip through everything else. They're slacking. They're not getting the attention. They don't have the power that they used to. And so you played your cards really well. You really did map this out well in terms of energetically now they're, they're the vulnerable ones. 
And you tried to put this in your past, but I don't think you're going to. I think it drove you. I think it was the root of why you fought so hard and you struggled so hard. This was the root of why you decided to come back so hard and so come back so fierce. You have been putting together lists. Why do I know this? Because Virgo. This is Virgo energy. This is Aries energy. You have been putting together lists. You have been taking names. You have been planning and strategizing your attack methods. Because remember, this is Aries energy. Aries rules the house, the sense of self, but also war, right? Mars is war. You have been planning almost a, a strategic attack. So it's not a physical attack. It's an attack of strategy. It's a it's attack uh, attack of combating like word for word using words to come back at somebody word for word being able to say well this is what you accuse this is what you said but is this is what was really going on and let, you have taken such meticulous notes this is that Virgo energy you've been letting them it's almost like you've been letting them dig their hole because the notes that you've been taking are going to expose everything about them because you are literally busting your ass to refute every single thing. You're, you're constructing a seamless argument and they're not going to see it coming. They don't realize that you've got them in your sights. They don't realize that they're actually serving themselves to you on a silver platter. They don't realize it. They think that in some ways you're already their food. They're hungry. They're after you, right? Salivating. But you got warned and you had the, the, the foresight. It's like you listen to the messages. You listen to the messages maybe from your gut, maybe from your psyche, um, maybe from your friends, um, maybe from ancestors that visited you in your dreams. I don't know, but you listen to the messages. You saw the signs. You saw everything that was happening and you went and did some digging and you watched and you almost... I will say this, it's almost like you served yourself up as bait. If that makes any sense to you. And the reason why you did that is because you wanted them to think you'd lost. The best way to bring down your enemy is to make them think you've surrendered. To make them think you've lost. To make them think you're defeated or you're in a weakened position. And I think, and that's definitely what you allowed them to believe. You allowed them to believe that you were lamed. You allowed them to believe that, that you had no way to protect yourself. You allowed them to believe that you were okay being the scapegoat, that you were okay taking one for the team, but you're not okay taking one for the team because this isn't for the team. This is for them and their selfishness and them escaping accountability. Um, you, you do not intend to be nice about any of this. You've been waiting at home a lot, staying at home putting yourself in a position where you feel comfortable, in a place where you feel um, protected and safe. I mean, this is so blatant, this is so blunt. This is leading the, the way with the new ideas. And this is your energy, this is the star card. Shining, your new ideas shining and you emerging as a leader. And I do think that, you know, people got real comfortable with you. They got real comfortable with you not only leading them and serving them up with all these new ideas, but they also got very comfortable with you somehow attacking you as if that was okay too, because your generosity meant that you could be the scapegoat when they needed you to be. But that is not what generosity is, and that is not what's crowd control or taking care of the, 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 your community is. That's not, that's not part of the requirement. In fact, the opposite is the requirement, which is holding people accountable for their own shit. And now you, you've got it. You've got the words. Not only do you have the words, but you've done the due diligence to be able to 
counter the attack. With intellect, with communication, this could be something that you're writing. This could be um, an announcement. Uh, or this could just be a fucking conversation that, that they're not going to expect. Because they already expect that they've dismissed you. But in some ways, you're not going to be talking directly to them. You're going to be talking over them. So that you will simultaneously be giving the message of your truth. As well as the message, you don't deserve my attention. So you're not going to get it. But you are going to defend yourself and your position. Oh, oh, there is some fucking dirt here. The the link to the tarot card video is below Aquarius. Please do join me over there. But first, let's listen to what the angels have to say. Okay, this is really interesting. Imagine. Imagine. Clearly visualize the life you want. Feel it in your heart and soul. And so it will come to be. See, this is the spirit guides calling you to remember your world. Remember who you are. Remember what you wanted to build. And definitely get honest with yourself to see if you've gone astray at all. Because the only way that you win an argument or that you win the attack is if you also get real with what you've done wrong or where your weak spots are. You must know your vulnerabilities. And the, the strongest stance for vulnerabilities is to, is to admit that you have them. Maybe even starting off a conversation, listing the things that you know, you know went wrong. To disarm them, to de-weaponize them. It's almost like that scene from um, um, Eight Mile where, uh, you know, Eminem was doing a, 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 one of those rap battles and the guy was just like, like ripping him up left and right. And he did a really good job of it. And then his rebuttal in the battle was to rip himself up even better. And it was an exceptional strategy because what it did was it showed him up. It showed that he could rap better. It showed that he could even criticize himself better. He did everything better than the person that was trying to bring him down. And he did it in a self by self degradation which opens other people up to actually feeling closer to you, trusting you more. So I'm not saying that you're going to admit your wrongs, but you're going to be open to everything. And you're doing battle. And I, I do think that you are not doing this. You're not coming out to be nasty. You refuse to use their techniques. You refuse to be cruel but you are going to be brutally and painfully honest and you're not holding back anymore. Positive thinking. Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry, think love. And this is what you've been doing. And this is what you have been trying to create, but it's also what you have been working on for all the time that you've sat in silence. It is thinking of the good stuff, thinking of the happy stuff, thinking of the stuff that balances you and puts you into a frame of mind where you are in control, not them. Because the last battle that you lose is possession of yourself. And that was attempted. They did not win. And then we have truth. The best way through the current situation is to just speak your truth. Contrary to what you may think, no one will be hurt if you express exactly how you feel. 
they nailed you they nailed your back against the wall by putting you in a position that they assume is going to be uncomfortable for you as if you're afraid of the truth don't be don't be and that's how you disarm them speak your truth and this is the energy that's all about you right now so you're ready you were not ready i think for a big part portion aquarius you have been very silent um as your character is decimated and as you're thrown all around or as accusations are thrown at you or as you're put into situations that make you feel uncomfortable almost like against your contract that's what i was feeling earlier in the reading that there were positions that you were put in that were against your contract and they knew you like you just could not you didn't want to go along with jumping through these hoops that you had clearly outlined were uncomfortable for you and now there's a loophole that you can find to get out of that contract because they did something wrong they messed up biding your time kindness a kind gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love remember to be kind to yourself and there you go yes you are kind to others be kind to yourself don't be so hard on yourself. Don't absorb the hate. Be good to who you are. And this is a kind gesture. Could just be a miracle. Somebody sticking up for you. Somebody taking pride in you. Somebody calling you and reminding you who the fuck you are. And that's what shakes you awake. Archangel Uriel is here. A great spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and in our world. What did I say when I opened up this reading? This is the union of heaven and earth, spirit and matter, heart and mind. Unite in harmonious balance. You may actually be uh, pairing up with a water sign, getting together with a water sign, um, finding companionship with a water sign. Finding a companion in a water sign. Not necessarily with love and romance, but in terms of somebody sticking up for you. They done you dirty, man. Let's get the juice. Uh, the link is below. Let's go to the tarot card reading. I'll see you guys over there.